Okay, so hello YouTube. I'm Jay, and today we have something really special. My roommate's long shot has arrived a day early, and here it is. Look at that. Starts. Does it? It seems like it. It looks like it's coming with an original clip. Uh, yes. Air restrictor intact. It sounds like. Yes. Let me see it real quick. Look. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, this is, this is definitely the holy grail of nerf guns, for sure. Uh, I'm excited to work on this, I want to get this open and check it out, but for right now, this is what it looks like. Um, it's got a huge hatch and entry hatch or whatever, I don't know the name of it anymore, but this is with the stock fully compressed. It's you can't really use it with the compressed. I'm gonna end up putting some reinforcement PVC pipe in the back, but the dart tooth looks really nice. It's pretty sturdy construction. It primes really nice, and it shoots elites really well. Um, comes with an original clip, and the hmm, this okay. seems interesting. Push it down into it. Push down. Really? Hmm. What is going on with this? Well, the clip lock seems to be malfunctioning, but there we go. This is actually one of the original clips, so that's really cool. I did pull back on it, you jerk. My roommate's such a jerk. <laughs> not doing all this stuff for him and everything. Grumble, grumble. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fire off the last dart in here so it's not to leave it primed. Wow, the the loading of the clip is actually really smooth. And the priming is really smooth. This is just a nice gun. <laughs> I'm really excited to, to open this up and take a look inside. So, yeah, long shot. Finally got my hands on one. Good things coming up. Okay, so here we have the long shot taken apart. We have the, here's some safety locks here. Let my camera focus. We have the bolt sled, dart tooth system, plunger, plunger housing, and back here's the trigger catch. Up there is the priming indicator. Um, it was a bit a pain in the butt to try and take apart. The screws are all rusted a little bit, so that took a while. I ended up using two capos, actually uh, putting them under one side of the priming bar and popping, you know, turning them a little bit to pop it off. I didn't want to break anything, so I was real careful about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and then get into the internals a little bit and show you what's up. Okay, so we've got the internals all apart got your plunger tube, your plunger, your spring mechanism, you've got your bolt sled, got your barrel, you've got your breech, and your trigger, and your trigger catch, and some capos. So, I'm also going to take off the stand at some point, probably not right now, um, until I'm ready to integrate my roommate's Maverick. But I am going to work on taking the air restrictor out, which looks like this. And I'm working on it from the back. I don't really have power tools, so I'm going to try my best to get it out. All right. I'm go also going to add a spring and add some plunger padding and put it back together for now and show you how it fires. So what I've done is I've taken out the air restrictor and now I've added a stock long strike spring which nests just a little bit. It's a little bit smaller in, in diameter than the stock spring and it seems to work just fine and I've added a few layers of foam backing rod hot glued together and I've also put a layer of electrical tape 
underneath the o-ring and I'm about to grease it up and put it back together and we'll do a test firing and see how it sounds. Alright, so we have everything ready to be put back in. I've removed all the locks so it can be safely deprimed or really unsafely fired. Uh, so yeah, we've got four pieces of half inch PVC. They're a little less than three inches long. They're hot glued in there and I put them on both sides of the stock. Some people I've seen only put three in there all on one side. Um, but it's preference. So I have added the other spring. I've removed the locks, PVC, put it back together, see how she fires. So this is the finished product that we have so far. Um, my roommate just ordered the 10 kilogram spring from Orange Modworks, which you can find a link to right here. And I'm going to quickly fire it for you. I have three springs in here. Um, a, the stock spring, a long strike spring, and a stock night finder spring. So it's going to take two hands to prime now because you don't want to warp the bolt sled. And I've got four darts in here. And I'm going to fire them off. And the forward prime is very smooth. And it is very fast. I'm, I'm really impressed with it how fast it is. And you can hear the night finder spring rattling around in there because it's not as long as the other two springs. And last one. Bada bang. And I have removed all the safeties so now you can deprime it safely. So, this is my preliminary mod tutorial for the long shot. There's more on the way. I will be doing an integration video. Uh, I have the PVC in the back of the stock. That stock is not going anywhere. This is really great. I love this gun. It's got a lot of potential. There's so much you can do with it. I want to learn how to do an angel breach. Uh, the possibilities are endless so stay cool everyone thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember modding can damage the internals of the gun so mod at your own risk play safe and stay awesome